Pete Davidson, Jake Paul, and Peloton. You guys, this was a crazy jam-packed weekend. Oh, I almost fell off my chair. So let's get into it. And you might notice the background, the backdrop, it's a little different. Yes, it's because I'm in my room filming because you know, COVID holidays, we're trying to stay healthy. So let's get into this crazy weekend because we need something to keep us sane. So first and foremost, Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian, and I know they're getting kind of old at this point, which I can't believe I'm saying, but more and more just keeps popping up. So let's get into it. So over the weekend, Pete Davidson allegedly skipped SNL because of the rise in COVID in New York City. And if you guys don't know, COVID is everywhere in New York City. That is why I'm home right now. But Pete Davidson thought, you know, why go to SNL and get COVID when I can hang out with Kimberly instead? So allegedly he skips SNL, he hangs out with Kim, he brings her to Staten Island once again where they go to the movies. They go to a good old fashioned movie theater, they watch House of Gucci, and they hang out like a regular couple. Must be nice. Following the movie, they also went to a local Italian restaurant, Angelina's in Staten Island, and had a great, fantastic evening. Paparazzi was literally everywhere, and the restaurant was going crazy, posting pictures, the whole shebang. All I gotta say is if Kimberly keeps going back to Staten Island, things must be intense. And then also on a random side note, Scott Disick was there, which we still haven't figured out why, but that's kind of random. Anyways, moving on to something that isn't random, that was predicted and we all saw happening, Jake Paul knocking out Tyrone Woodley for the second time in a row. You guys, this fight was intense. And if you didn't get a chance to watch or buy that pay-per-view, sit tight and I'll go over everything. First and foremost, we gotta talk about Jake's shorts. Jake wore the most expensive boxing shorts that have ever entered the ring in the history of boxing, allegedly. And apparently they were $1.2 million. And you wanna know why? Apparently he had a Richard Milley watch tape to it. That's right, you guys heard it from me first, Richard Milley. And if you aren't understanding why I'm saying that so much, it's because I made a mistake. Called it a Rolex over the weekend because he wore a Rolex in the interview, not on stage. It was a mistake. Stop coming at me, he was a Richard Milley. Along with the Richard Milley, he also had LED lights flashing on his shorts saying problem child. And if you guys don't know, that's kind of Jake's thing. Anyways, the shorts were gorgeous, but one point two million dollars? to enter the ring, well, they'll probably get ripped, bloody, sweaty. You know, that means that Jake Paul is making the money. That's no lie. Also something else that was very unique to the fight, but not unique to Jake Paul is that he walked out to YMCA, a very interesting walkout song, but I'm here for it. I love it. It's very traditional. It's very Jake Paul. Also, like I said, during the fight, Jake Paul did knock out Tyrone Woodley. He won the fight, but Tyrone did knock Jake once in the face. And you guys, he had a gash so deep that I actually wanted to faint, throw up, die, watching Logan Paul literally play with it on Instagram. Other than that gash, Jake Paul literally left the fight winning in every aspect. Him and Julia Rose expressed their love for each other. Logan Paul was there, Jake's mom was there, the whole shebang. It was an amazing event and I'm just so happy for Jake. You guys know I'm a stand of the Paul brothers. But something I am not a stand for anymore is Chris Knoth. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this has to do with the Sex and City reboot Peloton scandal. So let's get into it. So taking us back a few weeks when the Sex and the City reboot and Just Like That was released in the first episode, Mr. Big died on a Peloton ride. Because of that ride, Peloton sock allegedly dropped. We don't know exactly if it was because of that episode or just a coincidence, but we all think it was because of that episode. Anyways, Peloton stock dropped. The company was being destroyed. So Peloton thought, what can we do to make this better? So they were geniuses. They had Chris Knopf join Peloton for a commercial where him and a famous instructor promoted Peloton. And they said that Peloton is good for the heart. It's not gonna cause heart attacks. And Chris Knopf was promoting Peloton. From there, everything seemed fine and dandy until over the weekend, Chris Knopf was accused of sexually assaulting three separate women. From there, Peloton instantly removed the ad. They deleted the commercial. They took it off YouTube. They took it off Instagram. Even Ryan Reynolds, the voice of Peloton, removed all of it from his social medias. And you guys, Peloton is not advocating that commercial or Chris Knopf anymore. And that's your weekend recap. That is everything important that you guys missed over the weekend in entertainment news. If you guys want to stay up to date on all of the pop culture, the TikTok tea, the influencer drama, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment down below. And also make sure you are following me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, the whole shebang. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great weekend, a great holiday, and this will be the last weekend recap of 2021. So I will see you guys in 2022.